Welcome to Power Yoga Flexibility. The first half of this class is gonna be a flow and then the second half of the class, we're gonna do some nice, deep, delicious floor stretches. Now this class is from Inner Dimension TV, our monthly streaming platform where you can get unlimited access to all of my programs, classes, and series. What you see here on YouTube is just the tip of the iceberg. So if you wanna start your 10 day free trial, click on the link down below. Also remember to hit that subscribe button. And now, let's jump into the flow. All right, let's get started in a forward fold, spreading the feet out about the width of the shoulders. And just allow the upper body to fold down as you grab opposite elbows with both of your hands, relax the head and the neck. Maybe even a little light bounce up and down through the knees. A little sway side to side like a pendulum in the wind. Promoting a little flexibility across the posterior chain of the body from the heels through the base of the skull. Good, now bring the hands around behind the lower back, interlace the fingers, draw the arms towards straight as you release the weight of the world that you've been carrying in your upper back, your shoulders, and your neck, just let that release down to the ground so you get less heavy, less dense, and more light, and more spacious. Take a good by inhale there, and then hands to the hips, the waist on the exhale. The long flat back, go ahead and rise all the way up to standing. Inhale, reach those arms up overhead. And hands to prayer position in front of the heart. A couple rounds of half sun salutations. Inhale, arms come up, just getting things moving. And then forward fold, exhale with the breath. Flat back on the inhale. And then forward fold on the exhale. Inhale, rise and fly, both arms all the way up to the sky. And then exhale, hands to prayer position in front of the heart. Inhale, reach those arms up, just a moving meditation. Forward fold on the exhale with awareness. Flat back on and inhale, extend the heart up and out. Step back to plank pose, upper push up position. Take an inhale there. And then exhale, lower slow on the out breath. Cobra on the inhale, draw your sternum up. And then down dog on the exhale, tuck the toes and lift the hips. From here, we'll lift the right leg off the ground, parallel to the floor, inhale. And then right foot forward, top of the mat on the exhale, spin the back foot flat. And go ahead and rise up to a warrior one pose. As you reach those arms to the sky, right thigh about parallel to the ground. Take an inhale, reach up, spread wide through the fingers. And then exhale, hands behind the lower back, interlace. Take an inhale, lift the chest up, lean back. And then humble your warrior as you drop your right shoulder down towards the inside of your inner right knee, right thigh, unless that's too intense, then you can just kind of rest your right shoulder, right chest on top of your right thigh. As always, making your yoga work for you and your body. Now press down into the right heel, and then inhale, come back up to warrior one, and then exhale, vinyasa. Lower down through chaturanga, Inhale, cobra, should feel like a back or a spinal massage. And then exhale back to your down dog. Beautiful, left leg up, inhale, nice and steady. And then left foot top of the mat, back foot flat. Rise up to Vira Bhadrasana one. Arms up, shoulders draw down, neck nice and long. We're not creating tension, we're releasing it. Take an inhale, reach up, full expression. And then exhale, hands behind the back, interlace. Inhale, heart high. And then exhale, drop down towards your inner left knee, left eye. Staying strong in your back right leg. 
sealing firm to the outer blade of that back right foot. Press down into the left heel and rise back up. Virabhadrasana one. And then exhale lower down. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale Cobra Bhujangasana. And then exhale down dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. All right, now we're gonna take that to a little flow here. Just one round. So one on the right and one on the left. One breath, one movement. Here we go. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, right foot deep. Back foot flat. Inhale, rise up, warrior one. Exhale, behind the back and release. Inhale, chest up, knuckles low. Exhale, drop, torso down low. Inhale, back up, warrior one, we flow. And then exhale, vinyasa, lower down, but lower with muscle. Inhale, heart wide. Exhale, down dog, left side. Inhale, left leg up. And exhale, left foot deep. Inhale, rise your lower body strength. Exhale, behind the back, get set. Inhale, chest up. Exhale, drop down, humble warrior. Inhale, back up, Virabhadrasana one. Exhale, Vinyasa, lower down through Chaturanga. Inhale, Cobra, and exhale, down dog. Take one inhale, down dog. Release the knees down to the mat. Crawl the knees forward about halfway up the mat, cross the feet behind you, and then extend your left leg straight out in front of you. Option number one, Bend the right foot back by the right hip. Open the right knee out so your inner thighs are about 90 degrees. Option number two is you bring the sole of the right foot to your inner left thigh. Whatever feels best for you and your body. I'm gonna go for option number one. Torso facing at an angle. Just crawling the hands and the arms out. And then we start holding these poses for about five breaths or so. So whichever variation you're in, just feeling that stretch of the inner thighs and the groin as we bring a little flexibility to those areas. Slow the breath down, nice and steady. Slow the mind down for 10 minutes. I'm not thinking about anything other than what's unfolding on my yoga mat. Keep the torso down low. Crawl all the way by the left foot, left leg if you want. You can reach your hands out and grab that left foot. Inhale, and then fold down to your own degree as you exhale. Good, go ahead and come all the way back up. Bring that inner right knee to face the top of the mat. If you're not already, make sure you bend the right foot back. And then we'll bring the sole of the left foot to the inner right thigh, left hand on the floor behind you, right hand rests on that inner left thigh. Take an inhale, sit up tall. And then exhale, turn into a little spinal twist here. Each inhale, lengthening a little bit taller through the torso. And each exhale, turning a little bit deeper into the twist. Good. Now go ahead and extend your right leg forward. Lift your left foot up, place it on top of the right knee, and then bend your right foot so it comes underneath your left knee or cross your legs. Nice, easy cross leg position or double pigeon, and then just fold over and down. A few breaths there, getting into those hips. Crawl yourself all the way back up. Same thing, other side. Right leg forward. Either option number one, left foot bends back by that outer left hip or the sole of the foot to the inner thigh. Turn the body at an angle and then just crawl out to your own degree. Staying with that mantra of your breath. Mantra means to support or to reinforce the mind. 
So as the mind transcends unnecessary distraction, keep the torso down low and crawl all the way by the right foot, right leg. If you want, you can reach your hands out and grab. Inhale, get long. And then exhale, fold. In. way back up bring the left knee forward to face the top of the mat right foot inner left eye take it into that twist right hand behind you left hand out of right thigh Give that one last little squeeze turn the gaze forward extend that left leg straight out in front place the right ankle on top of the left knee and then double pigeon or easy cross-legged seated position as you fold over and down. Ah. Flexibility feels so good in the body. It's almost like lifting the emergency brake on your car. The vehicle of the body can move in such a more efficient, less hindered way. Come all the way back up even when it's only 10 minutes. Extend those legs straight out in front. 10 minutes is better than zero minutes. Go ahead and release all the way down onto your back. Shavasana, take a big inhale through the nose and out the mouth, let it all go. All right, everybody, that's it for this one. Much health, much wealth, much love to you. Namaste. Uh, I hope that class felt as good to you as it did for me. That was such a treat. Thank you for joining me. Drop a comment down below and let me know how your flow was. Remember, if you want to check out our 10-day free trial, there's a link down to hook up with Interdimension TV. Thank you for your practice. I'll see you next time. Namaste.